ever since um, Tony Ferguson has actually lost his fight to um, uh, Dariusha recently, I've been seeing a, a lot of um, people online saying that a potential fight for him that could be quite interesting could be a fight between Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson. Now, I'm actually a huge fan of Tony Ferguson. Um, and I think in his prime, he would have easily, have, quite handily, have beaten uh, Nate Diaz. Um, I think um, in terms of his actual skills as a mixed martial artist, I think he's more... A prime Tony Ferguson was more... Um, diverse and versatile than uh, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz just has the habit of actually going forward but I felt like Tony Ferguson was more of a dynamic fighter in his prime and there was a time when he was considered the second best lightweight in the world only behind Khabib and at one point there, there was many people that thought that he could potentially beat Khabib so he was definitely one of the top lightweights in the world while if you look at Nate Diaz's career even though he's a very popular fighter um, he was never seen as the top, top, top of the division. Like he, he was, he was somewhere at the top, but he was never the, seen as the second best person in his weight class. Um, when he did have a title challenge against uh, Benson Henderson, Benson Henderson quite easily destroyed him. Obviously, um, when he fought uh, Rory McDonald, Rory McDonald easily destroyed him. There's been many times where um, he has had great performances and he's had great moments, but there's been many times where he's actually looked quite ordinary. Um, obviously, like um, his breakout moment was when he beat Conor McGregor on on such late notice. But it pains me to say this, but the truth is, this current version of Nate Diaz actually does beat Tony Ferguson. Now previously when I did say that um, a prime Tony Ferguson definitely beats Nate Diaz but this current version of um, Nate Diaz beats Tony Ferguson because he just seems so washed up um, I think Khabib was right about Tony Ferguson um, that loss to um, Justin Gaethje the punishment that he took has definitely destroyed him as a fighter and it's just not been the same since so I actually do think if um if he was to fight Nate Diaz right now, Nate Diaz would beat him. But prime, but prime for prime, I actually do think, yeah, Tony Ferguson would actually beat Nate Diaz quite handily and quite easily. But unfortunately, Tony Ferguson's just not in his prime anymore. And I think um I think Nate Diaz will actually um walk would easily uh wash the floor with him at this moment in time. Obviously, if he was to go up to welterweight to fight him, the weight cut would not would actually suit Tony Ferguson. But you can actually say um, the fight is a lot bigger at that weight class as well. So, yeah, that that's my opinion on that. I think a prime Tony Ferguson beats uh, Nate Diaz quite handily. But this current version of Tony Ferguson, who's beat, been beaten by Dariush, been beaten by Charles Oliveira, been beaten by Justin Gaethje, um, I think he loses to... Uh, um, Nate Diaz quite handily obviously the Tony Ferguson that was on his 12 fight win streak um, when he was beating the likes of uh, Anthony Pettis um, Cowboy Cerrone um, Lando Venata all of these good fighters um, I think that version of Tony Ferguson quite beats beats Nate Diaz it wouldn't be an easy victory by any means and Nate Diaz would definitely have his moments but I think that version of Nate Diaz that version of Tony Ferguson was just too lethal and dynamic for uh, Nate Diaz at that moment in time but this current version of uh, Nate Diaz definitely beats Tony Ferguson right now but that's my thoughts on the video uh, tell me what you think below who do you think would win between these two um, if they were to fight right now and who do you think would win between them two if they were to fight in their prime make sure you uh, subscribe and like the video I've got a lot more content coming your way peace out